This is a crazy comedy show. I feel like this is like a comedy show, like if they had a comedy show in Hunger Games or some shit. Like, I don't even... <laughs> so weird. This is for Eleven. Uh, <laughs> she's the black girl. Anyways, um... In college, they called me the futon. <laughs> because I was so good at making sex awkward and uncomfortable. <laughs> as I am sure it is in these pods. <laughs> is this what slums look like in Sweden? <laughs> I had to leave New York, couldn't take it anymore, couldn't walk one more fucking step, do you understand? I don't walk anymore. And everyone in New York was so annoyed that why would you want to go to LA? How can you go to LA? It's the worst place you can go. Why do you want to go to LA? Why do you want to go perform in a wonderful venue like Bonchair? <laughs> why do you want to go <laughs> perform for people in Cots. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No! 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 But I had to go. I couldn't walk anymore. I didn't want to walk. Everyone in New York wants to walk. Look at me when I talk to you. <laughs> I can see you. Just pretend. Just look. To, just look. I can't because it's too close and I have vulnerability problems. So I had to go, couldn't walk, couldn't walk anymore. I wanted to go to a place where there was no walking. And everyone in New York was like, why do you want to go there? They don't walk anywhere. There's no walking, there's no walking, there's no walking, there's no diversity, there's no walking, there's no diversity, there's no walking. People don't look at each other in the eye. They're in their car, they're in their car, they're in their car, they're in their car driving everywhere. Is that what you want? You want to be in your car all the time? You want to be alone, alone, just alone in your car driving? Yes! I do! I want to be alone in my car! I want to be private in my fucking car. I don't want to be on the subway at 7 a.m. with your briefcase and my pussy. I don't want it. It's not the briefcase. I don't want to watch you eat chicken wings and clip your toenails. It's 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m. And here's what I don't understand, okay? This is a very creative town, very creative town. On the East Coast, we have highways as well, but we name them after people. We call them the Martin Luther King or the Van Wick or the Belt Parkway. Right, okay, here. The most creative things we could come up with, the 101, the 405, the 10. <laughs> we spent hours on them, days on them. Why not something more exciting like, I spent two hours on the George Clooney. <laughs> it was bumper to bumper on the Brad Pitt. <laughs> Never cleared up until I got on the Katherine Hepburn overpass, <laughs> which we all know is a bit shaky. <laughs> uh, I know I read gay, like right off the top I read gay, I get that. I'm a very read gay straight guy, but I am straight. And uh, and recently, and I never kind of like every girlfriend I have married and <laughs> and and then divorced has always been like a huge question mark. Like, are you sure you're not gay? And I'm like, well, what part of me cheating on you has not told you that I like women? <laughs> I mean, it seems seems like. Surprised it's still a question. 